I'm going to demonstrate the examination of a normal patient. I'm not going to show anything of abnormalities. The examination starts when you first meet the patient. Watch how he walks, how he talks, what sort of person he is, what sort of personality. You introduce yourself. I'm Dr. Cookson. Hello, how do you do? Hello, Mr. Wade. I'd like you to take your shirt off and lie upon the couch. I observe how he does this. Any clumsiness? Any pain? Does he get breathless doing this? I make him comfortable. I keep him warm. It's important to uh, keep the patient warm, but to cover, uncover each part as required. I start examining the hands. This is a natural maneuver and helps the patient to relax. I begin by looking at the tips of the fingers for clubbing. I look first for any bulbous formation of the tip of the fingers. And if that's not there, I look at the angle of the nail, the angle that the nail makes with the nail bed. There's the nail, and there's the nail bed, and I'm looking for the angle between them, which is best seen against a white background. If that angle is filled in, that's an early sign of clubbing. It's quite normal here. If that's not present, then I can look to see if there's any fluctuation of the nail bed. Can I rock the nail on the nail bed? And that's an early sign of clubbing. Then I can look at the nails, and I can look for splinter hemorrhages. Distal splinters, or little black lines, are of no significance and occur in manual workers. But more proximal splinters occur in infective endocarditis and are a good sign. Then I can look at the proximal interphalangeal joints for Heberden's nodes, bumps on these joints here. And they're a sign of osteoarthritis. I can then look at the other joints to look for any stiffness or deformity or swelling to see if there's any pain or tenderness on movement. I can look at the wrists to see if there's any swelling or thickening of the synovial membrane.